Every year the country is subjected to such scenes of malnourished Kenyans in some parts of the country. Staring death in the face due to lack of food, largely pegged on failed drains. This year the situation is no different. 23 counties have been identified as lacking in adequate food supplies. Northeastern is now going through a period of drought. The last rains were not good and thanks God the animals are still in a state in which they can be salvaged. Over the weekend, Red Cross Society made an appeal for financial donations to buy food for families in parts of the country who are going without a meal. The government has also this week released 1 billion shillings to deal with the impending famine. It is unfortunate that in the 21st century, with improved technology and 50 years after independence, the government cannot feed its own people, which it often blames on effects of climate change. The challenge that is being faced in these counties is accessibility and affordability. And that is why the county governments are coming in to assist in buying and distributing this food and the national government through Ministry of Devolution and Planning as announced yesterday has set aside the one billion shillings to buy food and distribute as relief. Nominated Senator Beatrice Elachi is seeking to change this narrative through legislation and has since sponsored the food security bill currently before the Senate. The bill is ambitious in its solutions to addressing food insecurity issues by proposing the formation of a food security authority at the national level and a county food security committee at the local level. We shall have an authority. That authority now is the one that takes care and committees because that committee down there is supposed now to take care of that Within the county, the committee now gives a report that here we feel we tried planting this, it has not worked and therefore we might be affected by hunger. The Food Security Authority will be tasked with, among others, information mapping systems to provide early warning mechanisms, address and monitor factors that hinder realization of food security, promote diversification and use of alternative methods of agriculture and livestock systems, carry out emergency response and mitigation programs and food distribution in cases of emergencies. They're saying let's have now a clear framework so that when these people know there is a challenge we are facing, they have an authority that deals with it, with that authority having structures at every county through those committees. Those committees are also supposed to create awareness to their people that you're not supposed to always just come for a gorogoro of maize, but there are other ways you can ensure you have your own food. At the same time, the bill specifically calls for the government to guarantee child nutrition and a mechanism for expectant and lactating mothers who are food poor to be entitled to food rations that will ensure good nutrition for infants in addition to provision of food to orphans and vulnerable children. It also proposes persons identified to receive food rations be provided with food eligibility cards after a rigorous screening process to end the culture of unscrupulous government officials who often divert funds or food meant for distribution to affected families. The bill imposes a punitive fine of not more than 5 million shillings or a jail term of not more than 8 years. The county food security committees will spearhead subsidy programs within the county, formulate food and nutrition committees at community level in schools and health centers. Why we always end up in the same situation is that when you look at your structure, is that the chief, in the end of the day, after he gives, the administration gives food, that's the end. He has no power to go back and say, we brought food, yes, but that is not the solution. When we cry, then Kenyans for Kenyans come in. But nobody follows up and says, after Kenyans for Kenyans, we don't want to do another Kenyans for Kenyans. How are we following up where production is supposed to come out properly to build that capacity to see now we have more food. But even as debate on the bill is set to kick off, Kenyans continue to grapple with the reality of high food prices, with experts cautioning despite efforts by government to invest in large-scale irrigation projects, the solution to food insecurity lies with working with small-scale farmers. Elachi in the meantime hopes the law will change the country's course and see the constitutional right for Kenyans to be free from hunger achieved in totality. The success of the Food Security Bill 2014 will depend on its full and proper implementation if we are to see an end to the perennial calls for food aid. Mario Canari for the Bill Tracker in Nairobi.